baby girl is awake. Emerson, what are you doing? Everybody. Oh yeah, it's a good morning. Today we don't really have a whole lot on the agenda. I'm pretty much just gonna hang out, maybe do a little workout, and uh, just talk about some stuff. We got back from my grandparents' house in Texas, and that was such a fun trip, and really, really glad that we got to do that. But now we're home, just kind of getting back in the groove of things. Emerson has decided that she is obsessed with books right now, which is super fun to watch as a mom. Even though she can't read yet, she'll get her books out, and she'll take one, and she'll just throw it at me, and just gets really excited about reading books. He's so cute. We got some wild deadhead going on over here, and I'm talking about me. So check this out. I got this giant gallon of water. I put a vitamin C packet in it. That's why it's kind of off-colored. My husband and I have this challenge going with each other that we'll both drink a gallon of water today. A whole gallon. Can you believe that? Yeah, I'm gonna be working on that and we'll see if I actually get through it by the end of the day. I love you. So we're gonna get this going. It's weird because it's really huge. And he wrote my name on it with a heart because he loves me. You're cute. Yes, you are. Oh, are you driving that food? All done? All right, let's do this. So this morning, for the first time, she undid the paper roll. So I decided, okay, I guess it's time to put it in backwards so that she can't unroll it. But, yeah, right. Emerson, what happened to the toilet paper? What happened to that toilet paper? Job, so let's lay all our necks and scream. We were made to see things unseen. What are you doing? You're cute. We are all dressed in our hang around the house clothes. Right now I'm just gonna kinda do like a short little mini workout. Woof, you went it down. I always feel so much better the rest of the day when I get my workout in, so I'm gonna start that. The truth is I'm useless. I'm having trouble enough trying to handle this. Call to arms when my arms are so thin, then again. I'll... Okay, like I said, just a mini workout. Just enough to get my heart rate up. As you can tell, I am breathing hard, so it's a good workout. Emerson, can you brush your hair? Brush your hair. Good job. Emerson, where's your belly? There's your belly. Good job. Emerson, where's your feet? Yeah, that's your feet! Good job! Emerson, where's your head? Yeah, that's your head, you smart little girl. Oh, you want to read that book? Okay, so there was a few things that I wanted to talk about today. And so just to kind of preface that, I wanted to say I have an amazing family. I have... Just a wonderful husband. Yeah, baby. Who works incredibly hard and who just loves us. I'm super blessed that I have. Hey, baby. I'm a little girl as my daughter. So I just want to start off by saying those things because I know those things. You know, Derek and I have been 
trying to get pregnant because we want to have another baby. So we started trying in May, and I know that that's not a long time to be trying. I know that there are a lot of other people who try for a lot longer than that. What'd you find? And so I'm not trying to diminish in any way their struggles. I'm just kind of wanting to talk about how I'm feeling right now. When you're trying to get pregnant, every time you have a negative test or ant flow comes or whatever, it, you know, it's really hard. It does sometimes get me down and it's just, you know, it is just disappointing. I had downloaded this app to see, you know, when I was ovulating and all that stuff and we did all of that. And honestly, like... I know a lot of people use that and they love it and it's very successful, but I really just feel like I am done with that. Right now, I think it's just important to be content with where we are as a family. And so I think that's what I'm going to focus on. We're going to keep trying, you know, in that we're not going to try to prevent anything. But I think I'm done tracking everything and trying to keep up with it, everything. I'm definitely done with taking tests because my problem was is that I would take tests and it would be way too early. Like, And I knew that it would be way too early. And I knew that even if it was negative, it didn't necessarily mean I wasn't pregnant. So it's just this kind of roller coaster with your emotions. That's what I've been doing. <gasps> Did you find a book? I think I've just come to the place where I feel like if the Lord wants to bless us with another child, then I'm all for that. But at the same time, if we have to wait, I'm fine with that too. At this point, we're just kind of relying on God's timing, and, and I trust Him. He knows what's best for us. So that's where we're at. We want to have a baby. We want to have another baby really, really bad. But we're just going to focus on our family right now. Just love one another. And I've already deleted the app that I was using. I've already decided no more early tests. I'm going to wait and just love life right now. I just think that's the probably the healthiest way to go about it for me. Hi, baby. Oh, I love you, sweet girl. I love you. Honestly, I can hardly handle this much cuteness anyways. Oh, you're going to do a dance? When Derek and I got married, I really told them that whenever we do start having kids, I would love to be a stay-at-home mom. One of my goals is to homeschool for as long as I can, for as long as they're learning. <gasps> I see what you have. I've always, you know, pictured me with all of our little kids doing school. And so I knew I always wanted to be a stay-at-home mom. Oh, you found that ball. And, you know, now I get to do that. I am a stay-at-home mom. And while we're not necessarily homeschooling yet, you know, I know that that's in our future. I love this little girl. She makes every day just a ton of fun. So one of the questions I have was, how do you find a good homeschool curriculum for your kids? I know this is way off in the future, but might as well start getting an idea of what we're going to be doing anyways. So what curriculums do you use? How do you decide which curriculum to use? What's worked best for your family? Let me know. Also, if you're trying to get pregnant, then I want to hear your story. Tell me a little bit about what's going on and uh, how you deal with any negative pregnancy tests. I want to hear what you have to say. Okay, so I also wanted to show you guys something that I'm super excited about. Because Emerson's birthday is coming up next month, so we're going to have a first birthday party. Which I went back and forth on if I wanted to do a party or not. You got that water? I know it's a thing that a lot of people are doing. I was kind of always on the side of, they're not going to remember it, so like, why have a party? But then I became a mom. It's just really exciting when your kid turns one, so we're totally going to have a party for that. We're going to do a Where the Wild Things Are theme. So I already have what she's going to wear. Pants. She already had these. They got cute little lace at the bottom. And then I ordered this. It says Wild One. I also got her birthday crown. It's got little jewels on it. Oh, you love it already? I can put it on right now. 
Gotta get dressed. Oh yeah, I think I think she likes it. Probably my favorite part of the outfit, monster feet shoes. They've got little claws and little pads on the bottom. I cannot wait to get her in this outfit. And apparently she can't wait either. So Echo? Oh, I love my Echo. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, I love my Echo. These are my pants. You're working so hard. Emerson just went down for a nap. I have my protein drink that I'm about to have and also my prenatal vitamins because I figured as long as I'm praying to get pregnant, I should act as though I believe the Lord's gonna do that. So I take my prenatals every day. It's also a good time to pray about any future babies that the Lord may bless us with. I have my water here. <sighs> I've made a little bit of a dent in it. We'll see how much I get down today. That's about it for today. If you liked the music, as always, check out the links so you can hear more of that. If you enjoyed watching this video, then like and share it. And if you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Ellie McMullen. We'll see you next time. It's the end of the day. Just a tiny bit in there. Pretty good.